Hi and welcome to the review shows. Today on the review shows we're going to be reviewing the Disney Stitch Mini Waffle Maker. So we're going to open this up and have a look. Got a security seal on here, which we shall cut off. Awkwardly. There we have a rather large instruction book, but it's large because it's in about 20 different languages. And then we have Waffle neck. The packaging which has just disappeared. Okay, it's a small little thing. So this is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Disney. And as you can see, it should make the pattern when it's made. So we'll have a quick flick through the instruction manual which is like a poster find the one I can read which is first luckily and then I'll come back to you in a minute and we'll see what we have to do see you in a minute okay we've read the instructions and uh, even though it's a poster there's only a small section that we need so, what we have to do is insert the plug firmly at the wall outlet, the power light will turn on, lightly glaze both cooking plates with a small amount of vegetable oil or a non-stick spray. Close the top and allow the waffle maker to heat up, preheat waffle maker for approximately 3-5 to five minutes. Slowly pour the waffle mix into the bottom cooking plate, do not overfill with waffle mix or batter. Kirkland surface is hot, handle with care, is a cautionary note there. And then close the lid, normal power cooking time will be 3-6 to six minutes. The power light will turn on and off as the temperature keeps the waffle maker at the proper cooking temperature. 6. Remove the waffle from the cooking plates with a plastic non-metallic utensil. Be careful with the waffle, they are hot. Allow it to cool for a few minutes before enjoying. Number 7. Unplug the power supply and cord after cooking and allow the waffle maker to cool before removing or storage. So we need to make up some waffle mix. So we got our waffle mix here. We got some eggs as well. So we're going to make up this and then clean this out because it's new. And we'll give it a bit of a wipe out. So we'll wipe out that. We'll lightly oil this then and we'll try cooking some waffles see you in a minute okay welcome back we've um, made up the batter mix for our waffles I'm glad you didn't see me doing that because I made an absolute mess getting the stuff everywhere but we got it in the end there it is nice and mixed so what we're gonna do now we give this a bit of a wipe out as well with some damp with a damp cloth and I've dried it out as best I can with that. So we're going to remove this twisty off your and we're going to close the lid and preheat. Close lid, normal cooking now on. Close the top, allow the waffle maker to heat up. So yep. So I'm going to plug this in. And there we have the lights come on. So we're going to allow that to heat up for a few minutes and I'll come back to you. See you in a minute. Okay, the lights gone out now. So we're going to pour in some batter, give it another mix and try and see if we can make, make a nice waffle. Make the mess, we do it. Nice, nice and warm. Let's pour this in. Be careful not to overfill it. 
poured into the bottom tray. And close that up now for a few minutes. Back the mix everywhere. Messy, messy, messy. So we will give that three minutes. Or was it three to five minutes? Three to six minutes. Okay. So I'll come back to you in about five minutes and then we'll open it up. See you in a minute. Bye. Okay, we're just coming up to about three minutes now. And as you can see, we've had some major spillage. So I may have overfilled it because it's puffed up a bit. It smells lovely. Mm, steaming nicely. So, might give it a check because it says three to six minutes. I think that looks nice. So let's take that off with our tongs. Plastic tongs. So we don't scratch the... And that is not bad actually. There we have our lovely waffle. And if we flip it over, we have Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. So we're going to try this now as we make another one. Maybe not pour so much batter in this time though. Because it's messy stuff. Put too much in again. And while we try this one, we'll leave that one cook. So we'll move that out of the way. Clean up our major spillage. And hopefully we won't have a spillage on that one. Now let's try some red cherry pie filling on our waffle. That is looking nice and it's smelling nice as well. So let's see if it tastes nice. So this is the Disney Stitch at Primac. It's exclusive to Primac by the look of this. But I'm not sure if it's on Amazon, we'll check. So this is the Disney Stitch waffle, mini waffle maker. It makes one four inch stitch waffle. And the proof is in the pudding, so let's try the pudding. Hmm. This is Aunt Bessie's American style pancake and waffle mix. Mm. That is nice. Mm. We got major spillage again. So I'm overfilling that obviously. I thought I had actually. Better stop eating this. Mm. Give it a few more minutes or a minute or two. So obviously we need to put in less because it does puff up. So there we have the Disney Stitch. This is Disney Stitch at Primac mini waffle maker so i hope you've enjoyed this review show and i hope you join us on the next review show so if you click the subscribe button and the bell and that will notify you of any shows coming up and i'll see you on the next show thank you and goodbye
even better. <laughs>